Mary Beth Tenning, the New York mother, convicted 30 years ago in the passing away of her infant daughter and suspected in the suspicious passings of seven of her eight other young children, was a free woman when she was released from prison in August 2018 and is back home in New York and is laying low, is what the reports are saying. Notorious Mary Beth Tinning's unspeakable crimes drew international attention and outrage, and so did her early parole release in August in 2018. The one-time waitress and school bus driver, Mary Beth Tinning, was convicted in 1997 for taking the life of her four-month-old daughter, Tammy Lynn, and is suspected in seven of her eight children's passings. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Dr. Sene, and here I am bringing to you the story of Mary Beth Tinning, who is suspected of committing the most unspeakable crimes on her seven children and ending their lives. Sentenced to 20 years to life in prison, Tinning told the New York State Parole Board during one of her hearings, I just don't think I had the capabilities of being a good mother at all. During her 31 years behind bars, she went before the parole board six times and after being rebuffed six times before, Tinning, now 82 years old, is now out of jail. Guys, according to the newspaper reports, this woman was also suspected of trying to poison her husband, Joseph, but was never charged. Mary Beth Rowe was born on September 11, 1942, in a small town in New York. Guys, I'm not trying to look for reasons for her abominable acts. No way. However, I found out that she was called an unwanted child from the day she could understand a few words. And that must have had a very bad impact on her sense of belonging. And she must have yearned to be accepted and be loved. Between 1967 and 1985, seven of her eight children passed away as babies. Mary Beth and Joseph adopted a child and he passed away too. This is beyond belief. Guys, the authorities ultimately succeeded in pressing charges on her. In 1987, Tinning was sentenced to 20 years to life in prison, convicted in the passing away of her four-month-old daughter, Tammy Lynn, on 20th December 1985. Mary Beth admitted to the taking of the life of baby Tammy Lynn. Tinning was also suspected, as I said before, but never tried in the passings of the seven of her eight other children over the course of 14 years. Though she is no longer in prison at the moment, she still has rules to follow at risk of finding herself behind bars. Under the terms of her release, she will remain under the supervision of a parole officer for the rest of her life. She also has curfew and must participate in domestic violence counseling. She was very happy to be free. Guys, many others weren't so happy to learn that she was released back into society. District Attorney Robert Carney, who has previously opposed Tinning's release, said he still has his doubts about her rehabilitation. Assemblyman Jim Telisco said in a news release that Tinning should remain in jail forever and call for the decision to release her to be rescinded. Tell me what you think, guys. Has she been released too early? Please comment, like, and share. Thank you. It's good night from me.